Good morning, everybody. I'm Pierre Havers, the Daily Trader. It is June 10th, and I'm doing the video for last night. So Palantir closed at 8.68, down 50 cents, 5.45%. Post market, we are down a further 5 cents. So let's look at what we have here. So we were maintaining ourselves above nine bucks. It was going well. And now we are having a little bit of a pullback. So we can try to understand why, because of the VIX uh, started going up quite significantly yesterday and today. So we are seeing the effect a little bit more today. And also in terms of indices, they are plunging a little bit. So uh, Palantir has been taken out a little bit, but even though we have a red candle, we are still above, we are still above 843. So we don't need to forget that. And we are still above this support right here. So uh, this is a little bit of a dip, but we still have stochastic over 60. We have stochastic at 75. So still a pretty good stochastic. We should just, we should just accept this uh, setback, but it does not change the story that we have. And that story is that we are in a bull trend. We are into a bull trend, so this is our story, and we have stochastic over 60, so uh, this is our story. So until our story change, even though there is a little bit of a setback, we should not be phased. Let's look at the one hour chart quickly to understand how this happened during the day. This is the first candle of the day, so we broke our $9 during the first hour and then came back up, so buyers brought it back up. But then the buyers lost and the sellers won. And then second hour, the sellers were more numerous than the buyers and then uh, pushed the stock back down quite fast. And then it was just a trickling uh, down effect. So going back on the daily chart. So as I said, stochastic at 75, we still have MACD crossover. We just lost a little bit of uh, RSI. So RSI is uh, showing us that the stock is becoming a little bit weaker because of this little bit of a dip. But uh, what, what really counts are the support and resistance. This is what really counts along with stochastic and the other indicators are just there to give us contextual information as to what might be happening. These are secondary indicators. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great day. We are going to talk tonight and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.